Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, MXP here. We are here today for a new drone tutorial. As you can see, there is earth here, which means I'm back at the spot where I took this viral reel. As you see, you can see a lot of things from the ground, but I will show you in this tutorial how you can make a viral reel with the drone and still respecting the drone regulation here in France. If you're following me on Instagram, you know I've switched back to Final Cut. Way more easier to do my editing and to collaborate. So to do this reel, first start a new project, select vertical, be sure to select HD format, so 1080 per 1920. You can name the project whatever you want. First, we need to import uh, the image uh, we want to use to do the, the spin effect. Um, mine was, it, it, it's easier if you're using a square one. Just be sure the subject you want to spin is centered in the shot. I made this shot at a place where the maximum altitude was limited to 30 meters. Since it's at max altitude more than enough to frame the subject entirely, I use one of my techniques based on panorama to get all the content I want. Tell me in the comments if you want to know more about it. And if you want to know more about max altitude in France, here is a link to my video about it. Now let's go back to our video. The second thing is you need is the song you want to make your spin on. I'm getting all my songs from artists.io. This video is not sponsored by them, but I recommend it since it is a huge um, it has a huge amount of songs and sound effects, with new ones added each week. If you're using my link in the description, you will get two months for free. Once you've selected the part of the song you want, the first thing to do is to change the duration of the clip you want to rotate. Keep it longer than the music, since we're going to speed it up later. Let's spin our shot. To do so, select the clip and enter a huge number. Uh, this number has to be a multiple of 360, uh, which corresponds to a complete circle. I'm using 720 degrees for this one. Be sure to be at the start of the clip and press the keyframe button. Then move to a few frames before the end of the clip and enter 0 degree. Final cut will automatically add another keyframe. As you can see, the animation is revealing gaps. To fix this, just increase the scale of the clip. Now, if we try to make a speed ramp using Shift and B, final curl is sticking, since you can make a spin ramp on a rotating object. The trick is to make a compound clip, and then apply the speed ramp. I'm placing my cursor a few frames before the end of the music and press Shift B. Final cut is adding the speed ramp, and then you can just adjust the speed with the left cursor to match the length of the music. If the length is enough, 
you can still edit the cover clip. As you see, making that video wasn't that difficult. It just required uh, a nice shot with preparation and then a few tweaks on Final Cut. I will not talk about exporting it since I'm using the basic settings of Final Cut. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I'm asking it on every single video I'm posting, but please turn on the bell, give me a thumb up and subscribe to see more drone tips and drone shots. Tell me in the comments here or on my Instagram if you want to know more about other shots and other tricks I'm using with my drone clips. Stay tuned!